Welcome back to Low Stress Math with Mrs. Bono. We are in Unit 7, Transformations, Lesson 2, Translations, and this is the practice. And practice means you're supposed to do it before I go over it. So stop the video and do the problems. Arr! I'm just joking. Love you guys. But I really would like you to try to do the problems first. And you got this. You can do it. Graph points M at negative, one, at negative 4, 1, A at negative 1, 1, T at negative 3, negative 2, and H at negative 4, negative 2. Yes, yes, I am that teacher who spelled out math. So sad, Bono, you were so sad. All right, let's graph this. Negative 4, positive 1, negative 1, positive 1, negative 3, negative 2, and negative 4, negative 2. M, I'm checking, negative 4, negative, positive 1, negative 1 for uh, A, and negative 3, negative 2, and negative 4, negative 2. Yep, that is one ugly little, what, sh what shape did I just draw? What shape is that? It's not a square, it's not a rectangle. It has four sides. Hmm, what do you call something that has four sides? That's not a square, it's not a rectangle. It's certainly not a parallelogram because the opposite sides are, aren't parallel. Well, I have one pair of opposite sides that are parallel. What do you call it when there's one pair of parallel sides? Hmm. It's trapezoid. So, there we go. Translate math, this, five units to the right. What was five units to the right? Well, if you're going to the right, that's the X. And if you're going five units, that's going to be X, five units right, plus five. And then one unit down. Down is Y and negative one. Okay, so we have a translation Capital T for translation, x plus 5, y minus 1. Okay. General rule, symbol form. So, why did I write it up here first? Ah, because I don't want to write stuff on my answer lines until I'm sure I'm doing the right thing. So, my symbol form is a big giant capital T, x plus 5, y minus 1. And what's the general rule? So this is symbol form. Highlight that. And general rule, that's where you have x and y to start. Then you draw the little arrow, because that's, the arrow is for trans, translating, transformations. So x plus 5 and y, comma, y minus 1. And what should we do first? Should we graph it first, or should we get the coordinates first? I think I'm going to graph it first. So five units to the right, starting with m. One, two, three, four, five. And then down one. So there's my m prime. Five units to the right. One, two, three, four, five. One down. A prime. Five units to the right. One, two, three, four, five. T prime. And five units to the right. One down. I didn't go one down there, bad Bono. I just went five units to the right. My shape would have been totally off. There we go. And... H prime. There we go. Connect the dots. And I'm doing this without a ruler. Is that a good thing to do or a bad thing to do? That's a bad thing to do. I did the first shape with a ruler, and I did the second shape without one. Look at how messy that is. And I'm good at drawing. Imagine how bad yours is going to look without a ruler. So grab your rulers 
and make nice straight lines. From now on, on a test, if you don't use a ruler to make your lines, I'm gonna take a point off just because I'm evil. So start using your rulers. All right, so let's come up here. Math was negative four, negative one, negative three, negative four, and I'm adding five to all my x coordinates. And my y coordinates. And I am going to subtract one from all my y coordinates. Let's see. Negative four plus five. Hmm, what is that negative four plus five? Uh, come on, Bruno. Other than making a mistake where I was supposed to write m prime. Negative four plus five is one, and one minus one is zero. So I should have point m prime at one, zero, and I do. A prime, negative one plus five is four, one minus one is zero, so I should have A prime at four, zero. Here we go, four, zero, that worked. T prime at negative three plus five is two, negative two plus, sorry, negative two minus one is negative three. You could do negative two plus negative one because a minus is the same thing as add a negative. So that's all right, you can do that. And let's see, two, negative three. Over two, down one, two, three. Right there. Now see, when I had my point here, if I hadn't noticed it, I would have found it now for sure. Okay, and h prime, negative four plus five is one. Negative two minus one is negative three. So I'm looking for h prime at positive one, negative three. Positive one, negative three, h prime. Yay, look at us all done with that first problem. Let's take a look at the next page. Ah, three more problems. Create a general rule that describes the following translation. Okay, here's the original. Now let's take a bigger look at this. How do I know that this is the pre-image? How do I know that? Well, when I look at the coordinates, D, E, F, and G, there's no primes on them. But when I look over here, D prime, E prime, F prime, G prime, this is the image, and the image is the one that has the primes. That's how I know which one is the pre-image and which one is the image. So now I have to write a rule. So remember, the original pre-image is X and Y. And we're gonna add or subtract something to the X, and we're gonna add or subtract something to the Y to get the image. And I should have drawn an arrow there. All right, now remember, we're looking for a general rule. Wanna go back and look? Here we go. General rule. That's where you have an X and Y, and you add something to the X and add something to the Y. If it was the symbol form, that's the one with the big capital T. So we don't need the big capital T for this one. We only need that. Now let's take a look at what happens here. Let's pick E. E goes one, two, three, four places to the right and up one. So I'm adding four to the X and I'm adding one to the Y. But I'm gonna check my other points just to make sure that this rule is the rule. Let's check F. One, two, three, four units to the right and up one. G, one, two, three, four units to the right and up one. D, one, two, three, four units to the right, up one. So now I know this is my general rule. I'm adding four to X and one to Y. Okay, on the coordinate plane below, plot and label the following triangle. This is going to be 
are pre-imaged. That's the original. And then they want you to graph the image six units to the right, six units to the right. Hmm, what does that mean? Well, that's going to be the X, and to the right is positive, so plus six, and three units up. So the Y is going to be up, so that's plus three. So well, let's take a look at the cat. Negative five, one, two, three, four, five, negative two, one, two right on the edge there for my C. And A, negative four, one, two, three, four, positive two, one, two. That's the A. And T is at negative one, zero, right there. Now, connect the points using a ruler. I told you, if you draw it freehand, you're gonna lose points. Not that anyone does that. <clears throat> A lot of you. There we go. Looks lovely. Now we have to graph this six units to the right and three units up. Let's start with the C. One, two, three, four, five, six units to the right. One, two, three up. That's C prime. A, one, two, three, four, five, six units to the right. Two, three up. Ooh, right on the edge again, A prime, and T, one, two, three, four, five, six units to the right, one, two, three units up. Alrighty then, and that's the image. The image is the one after you perform the translation. Now, do I have to write the coordinates down? No, it didn't ask me for coordinates. Do I have to write the rule down? No, it didn't ask me for the rule. Do I have to write it as a symbol? No, it didn't ask me for symbols. It just asked for you to graph it. And now I want you to look at this. There is something wrong with your graph, Bono. How do you know? Because this does not look like that. Before I go off onto my next problem, I have to look back and check my work. And this is wrong. It does not look like the original. It's too big. I didn't do it right. These should look exactly the same in two different places. And which one looks wrong? Well, I'm going to check them all. I'm going to go and start back at C. One, two, three, four, five, six to the right. One, two, three up. That's true. Six to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six to the right. One, two, three, up. T, one, two, three, four, five, six to the right. One, two, three, up. Look at that. My T was in the wrong spot. My T prime should be that point there. So I have to go and erase my work, go back and fix my triangle. Now, that's why you're supposed to graph in pencil. So if you make a mistake, you can fix it. Check your work, my beloved children. You will make mistakes and you can catch yourself. All right, last one. Find the coordinates of a point after translations. Sometimes we need to find the coordinates of the image without graphing. <gasps> really? Devastating. Okay. Complete the table with coordinates for A prime, B prime, C prime. After a little translation, five units to the right, that is plus five, and three units down, that's minus three. So my original point, X, Y, is going to become my translated point, X, and since I'm going five units to the right, plus five, and three units down, y minus three. I'm gonna write it down here too. x, x, plus five, and y minus three. Let's see, do 
Do I have to write this down if I'm doing one plus five? No, I already know one plus five in my head is six. One minus three, I already know one minus three in my head is negative two. Three plus five is eight. One minus three is negative two. Two plus five is seven. And five minus three is two. That's all. I don't have to show anything else. There's no graphing. Don't do more work than you have to. I will talk to you soon. Take care.